Okay, I've got to the bottom of this um, 100%. We had the a government agency trespass on our property, set our property on fire, bulldoze through two fences, bulldoze through my road, which didn't really need it. 95% of it was already clear. And um, I'm going to take you guys along. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to go on two. We're going to follow the road out and see where it comes. And um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Wait till you see that. Um, but first, let's jump over to the homestead. I'm going to introduce a few of you guys to um, what we're doing on this channel and what we're all about. So hope you guys enjoy the video and I get to the bottom of the government trespassers. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, we've picked up a ton of new subscribers um, coming over from the trespassers that ran a dozer through our property. I'm going to get into more detail about that in just a little bit, but for all you new subscribers, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of what we have going on. Some of you guys don't realize that we don't live at that property that I showed you guys. We live on 40 acres, about 15 minutes from there. And uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Then we're going to go out to the creek property. That's why I call that the creek property. And we're going to follow out that road that the trespassers doze through. And I'm going to go into more detail about it because I talked to one of my neighbors and I got some input of what they think happened and what I think happened. Um, so if you guys are not subscribed here yet, please subscribe. All you new subscribers, thank you very much. Um, one of the things we're going to be doing today and my wife's channel, Brandy, is following me. The new camera is following me. You see Brandy back there. Her channel is called Count It All Joy. We're actually going to be setting up a fence for our Cooney Cooney pet pigs. Let them get some um, green grass. So you guys go check out her video whenever she posts that. But go subscribe to Brandy's channel, Count It All Joy. She does a lot of family stuff also over there too. But real quick, let me show you this. Okay, so here's Brandy and the girls, Cooney Coonies, and that's Gunner. Um, that's our livestock guardian dog. He guards the Cooney Coonies right now on this about a quarter acre lot pen we got here. That's Brandy's baby right there when he's not jumping up They're on her. My, she's my baby. Yeah, she's the baby. So that's Pearl. That's Percy. Then we got two mini horses running around. You let them out for the today, didn't yeah. you? Oh, gosh. So Gunner literally just got mud all over Brandy's face. <laughs> I just said that, Brandy. He got it all it's over crazy. your face. Well, he jumps up on the he fence, he gets excited. He doesn't jump on us, but he jumps on the fence. He gets excited. But then here is Bobby the Peacock. He is a, look how big he is, Brandy. That's by far his biggest. This is his third year with us. Yeah, his so. our third year. I think he's four. Um, but this is by far the biggest he's ever been. And he likes to show off. things of his um, feathers, and mom has one whole mm -hmm. set. So then we got a turkey and um, a hen. Don't get attached. He's getting ready to go to the auction. Uh, but I'm not going to give you a full tour. I just want you guys to run down because a lot of you guys thought we lived over there and some of you all thought, hey, if there's a dozer going through your property, you should have heard it. Well, we weren't there. So that's that. So real quick, I'm going to put the camera down um, and me and Brandy's going to film for her channel, Count All Joy, setting up these Cooney Cooney pigs. And then when I come back, we're going to head over to the, um, the Creek property and get into more detail about what's going on over there. Okay, Brandy and I got the Cooney Cooney set up. Go check out her channel, Count All Joy. You guys to see some more stuff with the girls and the farm stuff and all that. Talk to you guys about today's sponsor, and then we're going to jump over into the Creek property. I'm getting ready to head out there right now, and we're going to do some more investigating and tell you guys how the government burnt down our land. So Dream has actually helped me fall asleep faster and sleep longer, and one of the best things I like about it is I do not wake up feeling all drowsy and tired. Um, the next day, I wake up feeling refreshed. And another cool thing about this, I personally like the mint chocolate chip flavor the best. Brandy likes the cinnamon cocoa flavor the best. I mix mine with milk, and I'm not even exaggerating. It tastes like a mint chocolate chip shake, ice cream shake. I'm like, this is like a dessert. But what's cool about it is, this is actually keto friendly. So if you're in that keto friendly stuff, right here, keto friendly, it's not gonna mess with all that. So Dream has actually been clinically proven to help you sleep faster and longer. So Dream is a luxurious drink blend filled with the highest quality of sleep promoting ingredients. Tastes awesome. What's awesome about this too is that Dream has set up a cool discount code for you guys. Use the code DUTCH and get up to 35% off your order. And if you guys want more Dreams with Dream, you guys can actually sign up for the subscription too and get free shipping. And each month you will save up to 20% off just by doing that. So I'm gonna put a QR code up on the screen. You guys can click that or down the description box and pin comment. I will have the links for all that. For, don't forget for my subscribers only, up to 35% off with code DUTCH. So if you guys are wanting to sleep longer, sleep faster and wake up feeling refreshed, try Dream. I don't think you guys will be disappointed. I know I love it. I think you guys will too. All right, let's get back to the video. So we are on the back side of my property. I just want to show you guys the creek here. 
So I'm driving around the section to see if we could find where that where that road that they dose through comes out up in the woods. So let's drive around. Let's drive around and see what we can find out. The app that I could look at my property and hopefully if we could find the, the clearing, then we could trace it back and then we'll go back down and we'll drive it out. And um, I'm gonna talk to you guys when we get to the property, just, uh, just what really happened. Talking to the fire department, my neighbor works on the fire department here. And he told me what <clears throat> he thinks happened. So if you look, one thing I noticed is the fire. You can see the fire. And this is about three ridges over from mine. All right, here's the turn off right here. Okay, so we'll drive up this county road. I've been over here before in the past and was unable to find where the cutout is, but it was all grown up too. I assume now they drove all the way through, so I think we could find it. But you can 100% can see the fire was over here too. This whole hillside has been on fire. So what has happened is they did a control burn over here and did not let us know. Yep, so you guys can see they burn it all. So I thought I had found it. It's right back there. I stopped to look for a minute, but that's not it. Looking at my app, it's too far over. So we're gonna drive up a little bit further. It's kind of hard to to determine where it's at unless it's just an obvious dozer tracks going in and out of the woods and they've burnt all this too so i'm not against controlled burns by any means i'm against um people coming on my property on private property without us knowing that's what i'm against well there's a clearing but that don't look like well there's another clearing right there too I didn't realize people lived back here. There's two clearings it looks like. I want to get out and look. I hear some dogs barking. I don't want these neighbors, because we're out in the boondocks and these people probably don't get um, visitors very often. So I'm not trying to draw any attention, but let's, let's peek down this trail for a minute. Let's see. I can't tell if I see dozer marks or not. So there's a power line. Looks like to be a trail right here. I'll get back in the truck and look at my map and see, but I do not see any obvious um, dozer marks. But this has definitely been cleared. Okay, so I'm gonna look on my map and see if I can trace this out or not. There's another clearing right there, but it, does, it looks like it just goes down and stops, but I could be wrong, that could be it too. But I think we're onto something right here. I just wish I seen dozer tracks. Okay, so after looking at the app, I do think this could be it. One of these two right here could be it. It looks like there's no obvious trails on the map itself, but but kind of following the train, looks like one of these two could be it. So let's go back to the creek property, and um, we'll talk exactly. I'll tell you exactly what my neighbor told me about the government officials coming up here and doing all this, and um, we'll follow it out. Let's go follow it out you know see what we can figure out okay we're back up here at the creek property but we're up top side if you're new here um i call this top side where i got the camper but i just came up on a bunch of turkey i don't know if we'll build there they go right there right through there oh that one's trapped look at it that's a look at him that was that was a tom i see his big old beard that's cool So I seen about five of them. Those two are the only ones that showed themselves. Man, I have to get up here and I have to mow because this is Copperhead Central up here at top side and the grass has taken over. Um, this is crazy. Yep, so this is Copperhead Central. We've um, had rattlesnakes up here and copperheads. Everything has grown up big time over here and it has taken off like that over the last two weeks. So I have to get my bobcat out here and um, get this all mowed up just for our safety. 
when it comes to these snakes. And to be able to enjoy, you don't want ticks and chiggers and stuff everywhere, but this is all grown up. And um, I'm gonna have to get over here soon and do this, maybe tomorrow. But if you guys are new here, usually I got this mowed down. I did not realize it had grown up so fast because I have not been up here. We've been keeping the ranger parked down at the creek bottom and we've been driving down there. So yeah, we gotta take care of this. This is unacceptable. The mother turkeys were, went down there, the two went that way. So I think there was five or six all together. But this is what I call, if you're new here, this is what I call top side. We have the abandoned bus. We have a whole series out on YouTube that shows us buying this property a year ago and then cleaning it up. You all need to go check that out um, to get caught up if you're new here, if you're interested in that stuff. But we got abandoned bus. We brought our camper travel trailer camper out here um, last summer and um, during the, was it last summer? Is there any last summer or um, in the fall when we had our deer camp? Um, but let's go down, let's go down to the creek and I'm gonna talk to you guys about what my neighbor said and then we're gonna go follow that trail out. But I just happened to see those turkey up here and I wanted to show you guys. And I wanted to show my friends because I told my friends they can come out here and hunt turkey because I don't hunt turkey. And um, one of them came out here and didn't see nothing. I don't think he believed me that I saw a bunch out here. I mean, there's just abundance of wildlife out here. It's amazing. Okay, let's do this. Bugs. So I'm testing a new camera and mic out. Let me know what you guys think about the quality of the picture and the sound. This is the first video I've done with it. And uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, so let me give you guys a quick rundown on this property because like I said earlier, we have a lot of new people here. This is what we call the creek property. We deer hunt out here, we trap, we just enjoy the creek, the girls swim in it, we catch crawdads. It's just like a big family and friend um, property. We let our friends come down here and hunt and do all that stuff. So this is the creek property where I showed you at the very beginning of the video is our homestead. We're building a homestead from scratch. So down here at the creek property, we're not here every single day. Um, I see some ducks down there. Let's walk down there and let's see if we can catch some ducks. So this property has so much wildlife. So let's get down to the meat of this video is who trespassed on our property? Who set the fire? What is going on? How come they didn't, they didn't notify us? So I talked to a neighbor that is on the actual fire department, local fire department, and he said it was the government agency. I can't remember the exact name. I have to look it up. That they do control burns. And there was a controlled burn um on, in this area the day before whenever i found it the next day um so he said it had to be them um he wasn't down here but that was his best guess it had to be them and with that being said so it was a local government agency it was the government if you work for the government you're the government right let's walk up here real quick i think i see a bunch of ducks oh there's one two just flew off this is where we had the beaver dam at and Mr. Beaver disappeared. What I consider the government is any government agency. Um, if that is the forestry department and they are part of the government, that is the government. So, technically, the government showed up unannounced, trespassed on our property, and set two of our hills on fire um, in a controlled burn is what the neighbor um, is assuming that happened. Like I said, he wasn't here but it had to be that. And what um, the last video, if you guys caught of me rolling up on this for the first time and finding it as I'm showing you, um, it, that's what the conclusion I came to towards the end of the video after looking at everything. Either it was like a lightning strike or a controlled burn. And that's what it is, a controlled burn. You can see by all the little marks that they were trying, all the little burn marks that they were setting, um, trying to get a burn line established. With that being said, um, and I said this in the last video, a lot of people, you'll skip through videos, I understand, I get it, whatever. But you don't, you don't hear everything I say. And in the last video, I told you guys that um, there is no easement going through the property. Um, even if it's a fire break. Hold on a second. I got a big old log in there. Look at this. Oh, wait. 
even but a, a fire break uh, from my understanding is not an is ease, an easement um, that gives you gives them access just to trespass on your property and run over to your fences um, yeah in an emergency situation i understand it but this was not an emergency situation it was a controlled burn on our property that we had no idea about so they literally set our property on fire without us knowing and um yeah I'll have to look more into more of the laws and legal side of it. I'm not going to pursue anything like that as far as like trying to take action on anyone. I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble. I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble over this. Um, I am very irritated now that I found out for sure it was a controlled burn and not an emergency. That's where I was. I knew I'd be more upset about if I found out that it was something that was planned and we did not know about it. Being landowners, um, if you're a landowner, I'm a landowner. If you guys do not know that people are on your property you need to know there's legal issues behind it and plus it's your right it's you pay for the property it's yours it's not the it's not for say the government to be able to come and do whatever they want on it the people that burn it um you know they were doing a job they had at task and they probably burnt this for years with no problems um, because the previous owner never even came over here ever um, it was all grown up any roads that you guys see in my videos on this side of the creek is stuff that brandy and i have established over the last year spent time and money clearing this land and as far as that fire break goes, um, the previous owner did, um, they did say, well, he had passed away, but the, um, but the son, the son and um, the, the realtor and all that, we all assumed it was an old logging trail because we found some old, um, old uh, cables over there across the creek where they had logged it and they were pulling them up and stuff. And, and then we found some other roads and stuff on the, that they were using at one time. Um, but yes, is it a fire break now? Absolutely. And it could have been established a fire break and multi-purpose as a logging trail. Regardless of what it is, fire break or logging trail, it's in the middle of my property on private property, on private land. So that it does not give someone the right to come through your land, doze it, and go through fences and not even fix the fences. Now, I have. it's been two days since I've been out here. Maybe they came back yesterday and fixed the fence. Actually, let's drive up there and see. Um, but give me your opinion. Are you guys okay with the forestry department doing a controlled burn on your property and not telling you about it? Are you okay with that? I'm not. I'm not happy about it. Um, and if they would just, they did anyway, right? But if they would have came to me and said, hey, this is the plan, I would have, I would say, yeah, go for it. I'm, I'm all for that. But the fact that there's no cur common courtesy of even letting us know, no respect there. And as far as, as um, it goes, they all got the same apps I do in that you can look exactly who the landowner is. Just like my neighbor, I know who my neighbor is by that app. I can contact them on Facebook, hopefully. Um, they can do that They can do that with us. Um, it's not hard to find a phone number and um, reach out or even go up to the camper and leave a note because we're here not every day, but almost every other day, maybe 48 hours. And we would have we seen the note, right? Um, even though I haven't been up there and well, well, you guys get it. Um, at least if there was a note there and I missed it, that would have kind of been on me. At least they could have said, they could have said hey, I left a note there. And I'd be like, oh, okay, it's my fault. I wasn't up there. I didn't see it. No problem. Um, but you know, I didn't have the courtesy to even do that. Um, it's kind of like whenever I've dealt with the, the county assessors just showing up on our property um, unannounced. I'm not okay with that. And um, we've, I made videos over that. Like when you own a piece of property, when you spend your hard-earned money, you spend your time cleaning this property up, that just because they're an agency that's working for the state or government, in my opinion, and my opinion may not mean nothing to you guys, that does not give them the right just to show up unannounced. I know people have a job to do. I'm not saying that I wouldn't let them do it. I actually will let them do it. Just like whenever I talked about the, the county assessor sending out the people to assess the property. I never said I wouldn't let them assess the property. All I was saying is I want to be notified as the landowner, the one that's paying the taxes, just to know when you guys are coming so I can have my dogs put up, my kids aren't around, um, things of that nature. You guys, being on YouTube, being on social media, some of you may not believe this, but I'm telling you the truth. We've had, had hundreds of death threats over the years um, because of the content we have put out when it comes to um, harvesting our animals, deer, um, things like that. The homesteading life that we live, people do not agree with. And we've had some horrible comments over the years. And when people show up unannounced, as a normal person that doesn't do social media, it may, to you, it may not be no big deal, but to me, it's a huge deal because in the back of my mind is, is, is saying, is this someone that doesn't like us? Is this someone coming to harm our family? A lot of people think I'm paranoid, but if you guys have read 
the hundreds of comments and messages and emails that we get and and hundred percent death threats and here's the thing what i've always done is just ignore them and move on i've never reported them as far as like to the police department because i don't even know if they ever even do anything i've reported them to youtube and facebook along those lines because you there is a report button that's about the extent i've done it but in the back of my mind and brandy's we're always thinking pretty much the worst case scenario when someone we don't know just shows up even if they do have county assessor on the side any one of you guys can go out there and get a magnet that says that at the phone number you guys, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So that's kind of the backstory, my mental thinking when it comes to people trespassing and coming onto the property. That was kind of a little rabbit trail I went down, but I need to explain that to you guys, how I think being on YouTube for um, over 10 years and doing this and dealing with people for a long time. <sighs> Anyways, all that aside, it, local government officials burnt our land and uh, did not tell us about it. I do have a couple of friends that know some people who are on the forestry department that are going to be reaching out to them. Hopefully they'll contact me. If not, I'll give them a few days and then probably next week I'll, I'll try to contact them just so this doesn't happen again. Just say, hey, I don't appreciate it. Could you at least come fix the fences? And um, next time you guys need to do this, just call me. I'll let you guys come in. No problem. And uh, no harm done on that. But let's drive over here. They may fix it. I have no idea. Okay, from what I could tell, the fence is still not fixed, so they have not been back up here. And um, you guys, in the last video, if you caught it, let me fix this. This new camera's interesting. I can make it follow me. There it goes. Now when I move, it follows me around. Um, it's got a pretty cool gimbal. Anyways, um, gosh, I checked that camera. I've had the worst luck with game cameras. If you guys have any game cameras that aren't cellular, um, brands that you know of leave me some comments down below because I will definitely try them out I think I'm on my third brand out here and it seems like they they work When I'm really don't care if they work, but then when I'm actually trying to catch footage of um, a pig or a Bobcat, they're not working. So it's just really super annoying And uh, so if you guys got any suggestions on that, but there was nothing on camera because it took no video um, of it um, I've had luck with just pictures, but I've been trying to get videos and that's where I've had the most unlucky time is with the video on it so nothing on there which sucks because i'm pretty sure we would have caught ever whoever was down here doing this on camera for sure but let's walk down here real quick and um i'll show you guys once again i want to see where the fence is at where they actually they actually just i don't know if they cut it or just bulldoze through it and didn't see it because look look at this that's what this looked like right here so i'm guessing they may have just drove right through it not even realizing there was a fence in there because it's literally that thick. So let's see if we can see it real quick before we go up to the other side of the property and follow that road out. I'm pretty sure it's right in here somewhere. So I'm pretty sure they just dozed right through it because just me walking, I'm not seeing it anywhere. And it should be very visible. My gosh. So these are where all the spot fires are at, where they had tried to burn it up so when the fire came it would stop. You see all this right here? So what a lot of you guys didn't realize is, because a lot of you guys were new that seen the video, is that this road was like 95% clear. They didn't really need to bring a dozer through my side. Definitely did on the other federal land over there for sure. And um, so I understand why they brought a dozer up there. Over here they didn't need to. I mean, my road is better than it was. My whole thing is just let me know when you're coming on my land. That's all I ask. Okay, so this new camera actually, uh, the mic quit working on this part of it, but here's the fence that they, or my gate that they tore down is a wire gap. I have it posted all the way up the hill right there in several different spots. The previous owner did that. So there's no mistake in this is private property. That's why I wanted to show you that. And they just strung this up with one little strand right here. And um, that's all they did. But um, yeah, so we'll take care of it one way or the other. So I'm just going to show you guys going through um, the property, um, the federal property that joins mine. And I've never been over here before at all. This is the first time I've ever seen it along with you guys. And I'll probably speed it up here just a second for you. Hold on. Just let me speed this up. 
Okay, I'm speeding up pretty quick for you guys just to get through this part. There's a wet weather creek and stuff over here. I had no idea it was even there. So that's pretty cool. Pretty inter interesting to see all this land. There's 4,000 acres um, of land over here. And this is actually a pretty long drive that I'm making over here just to see where it ends up. I think it's going to be beneficial um, for emergency reasons and things like that just to know where it comes out at. And then I drive up on a pretty nice tree stand right here i was kind of surprised to find this but as thick as it was before they doze it uh, no one's really walking back there but then a few people and the few people end up on my property at times too um, but that's a nice tree stand to be leaving out there i'm kind of surprised so then i'm going up the hill right here i'm gonna speed this up so you can see all the stuff they burnt down there it was just a basic control burn um lots of hard work they did but uh yeah so let's just follow this out real quick let me let me speed it up Okay, speeding up the hill, that actually got narrow in some spots, and I'm hoping my ranger doesn't break down all the way up here because that's probably like a two-mile walk, it seems like, all the way up this hill. I come out on the dirt road, and it was 100% not where I thought. Um, so we're going to drive, I think it's probably close to a mile um, away. I mean, it is way up here on this dirt road. I was way off looking at the map um, where I was at. It looked like I could get to my property, which I could from there but um definitely wasn't what i was thinking and um thankfully i did find it i end up marking it um and i think i'll talk about that in a minute i end up marking it on my app just so i know and i'm and i mark several different places um, but the audio starts to work in just a second and um you guys can hear what i'm saying i was also going to add to this is federal land um so the way i look at it they bulldozed through my place um unannounced so at the very least i could do is follow this trail out that they made going through my property so some of you may say well look here you're trespassing on federal land well the federal government's actually supposed to work for the people right i mean our tax dollars uh go to work on that right so we won't go down that rabbit trail but i thought at the very least that it'd be okay for me to go down this trail so that, that addresses that issue let me tell me uh, what you guys think well i'll show you the interest of it the interest is it's pretty wild to me that they was even able to find this old fire break or road because it was so grown up. For them to be able to find it is pretty amazing. Eulia's driving down the dirt road and then bam, there it is. And you can, it was just so grown up. How they ever found it is beyond me. I don't know. Okay, we're leaving no man's land, officially back on my property. And I could see how this would be, you could get confused that this was the same uh, land that they were just on, other than the fact there's a big no trespassing sign, private property sign on there. So um, let's go up here and I'll give you guys my conclusion and uh, go from there. Okay, I'm back up here at my truck. The conclusion is, I think you guys all came up with the same conclusion as me, is that um, they did trespass. They came on our uh, private property. They did set controlled fire. They were doing their job, but I would say part of their job would be to contact landowners. So on that aspect, they didn't do their job. But as far as these guys are just going out, and this, honestly, this is a job I wouldn't want to do. It is a hard job because these guys are going up and down these canyons all day setting fires and providing for their family um, a means of income that's their job that's their livelihood um, and so this video in no way is trying to get any of them in trouble um, the only thing i want is to be contacted i think i made that very clear throughout the the video um, like i said could have been an honest mistake um, other than the fact they came through a no trespassing sign private property and up and down there other than that like um I'm okay with controlled burn, 100%. I wish they'd burn all of it. And um, as far as them dozing my property right where they did, I'm okay with that too. Um, but you guys know how I feel overall is talk to the landowners first. And, and they've probably done this to some other landowners also. And um, yeah, with all that being said, um, I'm going to take it as water under the bridge. I'm not going to make a big fuss about it. I probably will be contacting. I'm going to give them probably the next few days to either try to get a hold of me because I have some friends that are texting people who work for them and stuff. And if not, then I'll try to go to their office and just talk to them and then see if they can come fix the fence. 
Now, if they come back and fix the fence, I'll show you guys the progress and all that too later in another video, and I'll keep you guys informed. But yeah, that was very wild. Never expected to walk up on a do dozer tracks through the middle of my property, and um, and I did. So to answer some questions, no, that's not easement. Is a fire break considering an easement? That I do not know. So if it is, then yes, it's an easement, but it's not a legal easement as far as it's on my deed. As far as I'm concerned, um, any person coming onto your property that is not the landowner should be contacting the landowner before they go onto the property, government or non-government. And um, it just shows a lack of respect and the lack of care that these agencies show private landowners that they don't care. They just do, they're going to do what they want to do. And um, that's something I'm not okay with. So if anything comes to this video, maybe it'll be the fact that they'll start contacting landowners before they do their job. Um, that's what I would hope would come out of this video, I guess, is that it brings awareness that, hey, contact landowners and let them know you're going to be on their property and um, you're going to be burning control. You're actually going to set their, setting their land on fire because some people may not be okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I want to do all of it. Uh, yeah, so with all that being said, um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Love to have you guys here. If you're a new subscriber, thank you. And hey, if you guys are interested in Beam slash Dream, getting your sleep um, routine better, if you need some help falling asleep, there'll be links down in the comment section um, and um, description box. So I'll pin that comment. You guys can click the links, get in on the savings, and um, help you out, help me out. And uh, we're all winners in this. So love you guys. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.